B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. This is B2B Cambodia's Darshana. Thanks for watching. Today we'll be speaking with Mr. Casey Barnett, the president of CAMED Business School, as well as the recently elected president of the American Chamber of Commerce in Cambodia. Thank you so much for your time. So first of all, I would just like to congratulate you on being re-elected to the AmCham board, where you previously served as the treasurer and are now beginning your term as the president. Um, so in that regard, having assumed this new role, could you share what are some of your main goals with your AmCham presidency? Well, first of all, I would like to strengthen the advocacy, the process of advocating for businesses, American businesses in Cambodia, especially advocating for improvement in regulations and the business environment. And uh, secondly, continue to support networking activities to build a community for American businesses as well as non-American businesses who are interested in partnering with American businesses. And uh, thirdly, to continue sharing uh, the, the latest business intelligence with our members to make sure that our members uh, are informed of any uh, new developments and regulations. The main thing to, in terms of changing will be the process of uh, advocacy. In previous years, uh, it was a bit of uh, ad hoc with uh, certain uh, individuals that had a, a critical issue. They may drive uh, an issue forward to bring it to the government. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make that more systematic, where we have a more systematic process of surveying, engaging members to develop a, a, a list of priorities and uh, also to develop a consensus about uh, uh, what recommendations we provide to the government so that the voice that AmCham brings to the government is truly the legitimate voice of American business in Cambodia. What would you say are some of the biggest challenges that businesses are facing here in Cambodia today? One big challenge for American businesses or potential investors is that uh, the Cambodian market is still small. When you want to manufacture in the region to sell in the region in uh, Southeast Asia, you, investors may prefer a larger, uh, a country with a larger market. And if a manufacturer manufactures in those countries, not only will they be able to export, but they'll also have a quick and easy access to the, the, a large local market. Whereas here in Cambodia, we only have uh, 16, 17 million people. We have relatively poor infrastructure. We have expensive electricity. And uh, we have, uh, in many cases, uncertain application uh, or uncertainty regarding government policies, tax regulations. And so these are some uh, challenges. And because we have uh, more expensive electricity, because we have a smaller population here in Cambodia, we really have to uh, give uh, incentives to attract investment here. If you had to look at the other side, what would you say are some of the draws to Cambodia? What would uh, you say to investors abroad if you wanted to bring them in here? One main attraction is that Cambodia is uh, very open to investment. It's uh, easy to invest in Cambodia. Foreign investors can uh, easily own 100% of the shares of a company in Cambodia. And uh, there's uh, openness, friendliness, and you have a population that speaks English. Geographically, we are located in the, the heart of ASEAN uh, with a uh, deep port in Tihanoukville. So we do have uh, access to the sea. We have access uh, to two large uh, neighboring markets, Thailand and Vietnam. And uh, importantly, the Cambodian government has uh, offered uh, incentives uh, through the, uh, uh, the Council for Development of Cambodia, CDC. Investors can uh, receive a tax holiday for a number of years uh, for investing in certain uh, priority sectors. So shifting back to your work with AmCham, what developments do you hope to see in the Chamber's engagement with the government? What we'd like to do is to uh, try to work closely with the government when regulation is at the draft stage. 
so that uh, we're, we are not uh, receiving regulations and requirements that have already been approved. We'd like to get involved at the drafting stage so that we can uh, share uh, our advice and suggestions so that the government can achieve a, a higher level of compliance and also help to uh, support us to run our businesses uh, smoothly. Well, thank you so much for your time today. That's all the questions that I have for you. This has been B2B Cambodia. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we continue to bring you more news, updates, and developments from the business community in the Kingdom of Cambodia. Thank you.